Find a comfortable posture, close your eyes, and watch your breath. Try to feel the breath all the way in, all the way out, and give it your full attention. Each breath coming in, each breath going out, any other thoughts right now, you put them aside. You're trying to find well-being in a way that is responsible. In other words, it causes no harm to anybody, not to you, not to other people. And meditation is one of those ways. Basically, generosity, virtue, meditation, these are the three things that enable you to find happiness in a way that's responsible, that brings happiness to others. When you're generous, of course, people benefit from your generosity, the things that you give to them. And at the same time, you develop the, vert you develop the mental quality of generosity, which is a spacious mind, a mind that looks not only after your own immediate well-being, but for your larger well-being. Realizing that if your happiness depends on other people's harm, they're gonna, not going to stand for it. And if you just eat what you've got all alone, society begins to break down. So for us to live together, we have to be generous. To live together in peace, live together in harmony, we have to be generous. That way everybody benefits. The same with virtue. When you observe the precepts, like the precepts you took just now, Nobody has to be afraid that you're going to kill them or steal from them or have illicit sex with their friends or family. You're not going to lie to them. You're not going to take intoxicants and do stupid things. You benefit, and the people around you benefit as well, even more directly when you meditate. You have to know your mind more and more clearly. You can see it move. When you make up your mind, you're going to stay with one thing. Of course, it's going to start moving around in the beginning. That's his old habit. And all too often, those movements of the mind are things that go undetected. A little bit of anger, a little bit of greed, a little bit of lust, a little bit of jealousy. These things start out very small. And if your mind isn't really still, you can't see them. You don't see them until they've taken over. And by that time, it's kind of late. It's really difficult to get them out once they're firmly entrenched. But if you can notice them when they st start, basically say, no, I've got something better to think about, something better to focus on. then you're not overcome by your greed, aversion, and delusion. Because when you're not overcome by these things, then people don't have to be subject to the things that you might do based on them. These defilements go, don't go prowling around disturbing the neighbors. This way, your mind is at peace. The people around you are at peace. It's a responsible way of finding happiness. All too many people in the world look for happiness in an irresponsible way. They look for material gain. They look for status. They look for praise. They look for sensory pleasures. And when you gain these things, somebody else has to lose. And this is why there's d divisions in society. And some people gain, other people lose. And you're not thinking about the long term, that for, every, for people to be happy, you want to do it in a harmless way. That's a responsible way, and that way your happiness can last. Because the happiness that comes from gain, status, praise, and pleasures doesn't last very long. Wherever there's gain, there's going to be loss of gain. Wherever there's status, there's loss of status. Wherever there's praise, there's criticism. Wherever there's pleasure, there's pain. These things go back and forth. You spin around with the world. You don't get to step outside of the world at all. Whereas if you develop the qualities of generosity, virtue, meditation, you can step outside. The world can spin around, but you don't spin around with it. Everybody spinning around gets dizzy. But when you can stand apart, you can see things clearly for what they are, what's wise, what's unwise, what's useful, what's not useful. And you're more and more inclined to want to do the wise and useful thing for your benefit and the benefit of those around you. So sometimes people say that when you're meditating, you're just looking after yourself, you're being irresponsible. But that's not true. You're being responsible in the best way, finding happiness in a totally harmless way. Happiness that can make other people happy, too.